Hey there, today let's talk about this color e-ink display module and let's build a YouTube subscriber counter using this color e-ink display. Now let's get started. So first of all, what is an e-ink display? An e-ink display or electronic ink display is a type of electronic paper technology that mimics the appearance of ink on paper. E-ink displays are known for their low power consumption and high visibility in various lighting conditions. They are commonly used in e-book readers. Here we have a color e-ink display module called Inkplay 2 from Soldate Electronics. Soldate Electronics is a company that makes interesting open source electronic modules like this color e-ink display custom ESP32 boards, LED matrices, etc. You can find the link from the video description. I got the color e-ink display in this beautiful purple box. After opening, we got a manual. Then the color e-ink display, which comes in a 3D printer protective case. Finally, we have a Type-C USB cable. Now let's open the case and have a closer look to the e-ink display. The display is attached to the case with an antenna, so I removed the antenna. Now you can see the beautiful purple PCB and the display. The screen size of this display is 2.13 inch with a resolution of 212 by 104 pixels. We can display red, black and white colors with this display. This board is based on ESP32 Rover microcontroller, so it has Wi-Fi and Bluetooth. It has 8 MB flash memory and 4 MB RAM. This module has an ECC connector which can be used for connecting external sensors. It has a USB Type-C port for programming and there are some parts for connecting the battery and external devices. This module uses only 8 microampere current, so this is a perfect option for battery operated projects. Now let's see how to upload code to this ink display. For that, go to Soldate Electronics, select Inkplay 2, then select the Arduino library and download the library as a zip file. You can find the direct link from the video description. Now go to Arduino IDE, go to Sketch, Include Library, Add Zip Library. Then select the downloaded zip file. So after adding the library, we can use the example codes. To select that, go to examples, ink plate library, then select ink plate 2 and we can use different examples. Now I am showing how to display YouTube subscribers numbers in the display. So open the example. In this code, we need to provide the SSID and password of your Wi-Fi. After giving that, we need to provide the channel ID and API key. To find channel ID, open your YouTube channel in the browser and copy the ID that appears after YouTube slash channel slash. Now to get the API key, go to console.developers.google.com. You have to sign in with the same YouTube Google account. Then click on the left side box and then click on a new project. Name the project and click create. After creating, select the enable APIs and services. From there, search YouTube and select YouTube Data API version 3 and enable it. Now go to Credentials, Create Credentials and select API key. This will generate an API key. Now copy and paste that key in the code. Now we can select the port and let's upload the code. After uploading, you can see the live YouTube channel details on the e-ink display. That's it. So even with the lower resolution and lower refresh rate, we can use this module to display characters and images. As I said earlier, this is perfect for battery operated projects due to its low current consumption. All links are given in the video description. So if you are interested, please check it out. So that's all about today. Hope you enjoyed and learned something new from my video. If so, consider supporting me by liking, sharing and subscribing. That's all up to you. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.